Welcome to this edition of the Business Video Look Ahead, your preview of the Business Video Expo to be held this week in Miami, Florida. Join us this time, Josh Bruin, Director of Product Management for the VMP product line at ViewCast. Welcome, Josh. Thank you, Steve. So can you tell us a little bit about ViewCast and the VMP product line and how it fits into the business video environment? Well, ViewCast, as you may know, is really an early pioneer in video streaming and, and encoding. Started about 15 years ago with the Osprey line of capture cards that are used by hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. Uh, introduced the Niagara brand of appliances uh, not long ago. And, of course, we offer the VMP, ViewCast Media Platform, as an enterprise video platform and digital asset management offering for enterprises who want to capture, share, manage and publish video throughout their network. So you're going to be participating in a panel this week at the Business Video Expo talking about trends in content management. Can you talk about some of the key themes that executives should be thinking about when they're considering their content management strategies for business video implementation? Well, of course, the key thing is that, that the use of video is proliferating around the enterprise. It's being captured, generated, and used in, in more cross-functional areas. Uh, it's being generated by uh, more and different systems. And companies are realizing that it's important to get this stuff under management for a few key reasons. One is uh, compliance and legal concerns. Uh, but mo most, most important among them is the notion of leveraging the value of the content. If, uh, if one functional area generates some content that might have that value in other functional areas, how do you get that content to users in those other areas? Uh, and how do you do so with existing tools? You know, most enterprises today have deployed enterprise content management platforms and, and other systems um, that can be used to publish content and make it available to people throughout the enterprise. So our focus really is on um, the discipline of managing the content, uh, but, but using existing tools and systems on the network to publish it and make it available to users. So what type of technology changes are we seeing impacting content management solutions and the strategies that executives should think about when they're considering the implementation of these technologies? Well, the, the, the technology has evolved a lot over the years. It used to be that, that the video data type, so to speak, the actual file, that is your video file, uh, was difficult to manage. You know, they're large, uh, they're hard to index, and most content management systems prior to even just a few years ago um, didn't do a very good job of managing the video data type. Uh, that's changing now. Uh, there are technologies to index video, uh, make it searchable. Um, dealing with larger file sizes is not as problematic. Uh, so, so the technology has come a long way. It, it's possible to get this content in a structured environment, um, in a platform that is open and extensible and, and available to systems around the enterprise. And so companies are looking for uh, a platform uh, that can do just that, that can capture the content, index it, make it searchable, but most importantly, uh, make it available outside of that system. Meaning, if, if your content management platform stores and manages the content, uh, users aren't necessarily required to go to that system to find the content. They're, they're using lots of systems today. They've got CRM systems and lots of different ERP systems, and they've got uh, mail systems and collaboration systems. So the key thing is how do you make this content available in the systems they already use without having to introduce yet another destination for them? Well, Josh, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for your time and looking forward to seeing you this week at the Business Video Expo. Great. Thank you, Steve. See you then. And that's all the time we have for this edition of the Business Video Look Ahead. For more information on the Business Video Market Space, be sure to join us at the Business Video Expo this week being held in Miami, Florida, February 2nd through February 4th. For the Business Video Look Ahead, I'm Steve Onderhar. Thanks for your time.